Boys and girls, what is up? It is Bobby with Gilk Sports Cards. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, if you haven't, please uh, subscribe to the channel. We're only we're almost up to a thousand, which is crazy. Uh, I know my background here and throughout the last year in my channel isn't very impressive. So uh, something I got to work on. Don't worry, it's in the process. I got a full time job, just like most of you so i just haven't had time to figure out what i want to do to make you know the background of my videos uh better but since i'm almost at a thousand i feel like it's time for me to really step that up so hopefully sh sooner than later you'll see an improvement on that and on my videos but i was just driving to work today you know and think about what i want to talk about i don't have a ton of product to open up uh, but we do have a little bit so you see some stuff uh probably prism basketball coming up here soon in the next couple days but I was just kind of thinking about my success and kind of wanting to share that with you. And I'm not like these other crazy YouTubers flipping crazy amount of cards and all that kind of stuff. In fact, yes, I guess you can technically technically say that I, I'm a flipper, but I at least want to let you guys know that 100% of the cards that I do uh, sell, that money comes back into the hobby because all I do is I use those profits to buy cards like for my personal collection. So everything comes back and I'm building this collection I'm really, really proud of. And it's kind of like a uh, a second 401k for me is kind of the way I'm, I'm putting it. Uh, something my wife doesn't really know about. And I'm hoping, you know, uh, you know down the road when maybe there, I have a, a year or two to retire that I could sell my collection that will allow me to retire younger. I mean, that'd be pretty awesome. My wife would be, I mean, she'd be so excited uh, if that all works out. And then, you know, at that point, retired, I probably will want to start over. I still love the sports card game. I'll probably hopefully, you know, just kind of start over slow, you know, making, you know, doing the same thing and flipping cards and then, you know, building a, a collection back up. But anyway, that's the ultimate goal. We'll see how happens, how that happens. But I don't want you guys to think that I'm like Mr. Know-it-all. And that I'm always right. I make plenty of mistakes. And the first thing I want to talk about is one of my mistakes or two. So last year, for example, I'm thinking Patrick Mahomes, right? He's one of the GOATs, an amazing player. And he's got Travis Kelsey, who's obviously very good. But who else is he going to throw to on the Kansas City offense? Like one of his wide receivers has to pop off. I really didn't think much of Rashid Rice. I didn't really hear much about him in the draft and all that kind of stuff. So I... I didn't go crazy or anything, guys, but I did buy some autographs of Sky Moore and Kadarius Tony. Uh, Kadarius Tony, excuse me. Probably spent 150, 200 bucks each on them, with the hopes that you know at least one of them gets off to a crazy hot start and sell those off and you know make a couple hundred bucks. But obviously, that didn't turn out very well. I probably lost 30 or 40 percent of that. But so I am not at all perfect. But I will say, for the most part, I'm pretty good. So, like, right now in the sports card market, everyone is thinking about Victor Wimbenyama and C.J. Stroud. I mean, there's other players. You know, Jackson Holly just got pulled up and all that kind of stuff. But that's kind of the two for the most part. Caitlin Clark, uh, you know, also uh, lately until she got bounced out of the, the, the finals. But, uh, you know, in my opinion, this is a, a really bad time to start in buying those cards. Like, Wimbenyama, uh, obviously, they're not making the playoffs. It's going to be, you know, after the season, you know, of course, his cards will always be strong, but I, you have to expect a decline since people be buying baseball and football instead. Um, CJ Stroud, guys, I mean, he's amazing. He's, I mean, he's a talented kid. Uh, and you guys might think this is a bad example, and, and it sort of is, but some of you may remember when Matt Jones was playing, um, his Don Ross base, think of this guys, his Don Ross base rookie card, the first five or six that were graded that got PSA 10s sold for over $2,000 for a Don Ross base PSA 10. Okay. He, in my opinion, actually had more buzz about him just because he was on the Patriots and you know all that one of the guys replacing Brady and, you know, great football town. But obviously, I'm not saying he's even close to more talented than C.J. Stroud. I think we all agree C.J. Stroud is going to be a better player. But the buzz was more. 
And you know what that card goes for now, guys? Less than the grading fees. It's less than 20 bucks for a Don Ross Mac Jones PSA 10 rookie. So all I'm saying is be careful. I know CJ Stroud, that's not going to happen. They added some more weapons and all that kind of stuff. But his hype is so strong right now, he has to absolutely go nuclear when the season starts. They have to go 6-0 and or 7-1 and to start the season, and he's got to play out of his mind for the the hype that's already built up to continue and his cards go up. If if I'm lucky enough and I have a few but nothing big, if I'm lucky enough to get some, you know, CJ Stroud cards and PSA tens or it doesn't even matter what the grade are, I am not keeping I mean I like to keep one because it's kind of fun so you could kind of have a reason to, to root for him, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I, I in my opinion guys, before the season starts his those cards will be that'll be the highest price his cards will be for the entire year. So it's just not a good time to buy those guys. So what this whole speech is about, guys, is me trying to think of different players one step ahead. So you see in front of you, we can go football first. You know, you know, Drake May. I bought that on uh obviously tops. It's a Bowman U out of like 49 autograph. I bought it like three months ago. I know he's going to be drafted in the top three. It was like a $100 card. And I'm going to auction it off. And it's going to sell the day of the draft. You know, after he's drafted. So it's like 8 o'clock at night or something. And I bet you I get a lot more than $100. Because people are going to be excited about it. I don't know if he's going to Washington or New England or whatnot. It doesn't matter. People are going to be excited. Going to want that card. You know, I got to the right of it, Bo Nix is going to get drafted as well. I got some Leaf cards out of, you know, like out of 49 or something. That's not crazy or anything, but they were like 5 bucks a card or something or 10 bucks a card, and I'll probably sell them for 30 or 40 So little things like that. Um, I don't have it with me today. It's uh, upstairs, but I had this, you know, if you, if you watched my um, awesome PSA reveal a couple days ago, I had a Caleb Williams autograph that came back a PSA 10, so this is a great time to sell that you know, before the season starts and all that kind of stuff. So thinking ahead. Now, here's a couple other guys, right? So as you can see, the examples, guys, is quarterbacks, right? So let's do this real quick. So um, I only have two cards here to show you. I have a ton still at PSA coming. But these are two guys, especially, especially Will Levis, that I have been investing in like two months ago. So, and, and, and by the way, guys, I think it's too late for you guys, for the most part, unless you get lucky, it's too late. I bought four of these Will Levis silver, uh, rookie prism cards for about $40 each. And I was looking to buy some more this week and they're going for between 80 or $90 now. Like, I wish I would have bought more or, or even wish that maybe I just kept them and sold them raw. I mean, making more than double your money. That's awesome. And people were really talking about Anthony Richardson a lot too. So I, when people were thinking about CJ Stroud, right, but his cards were already high, I was thinking of guys like that who prices were down that I think will have some buzz, right? Will Levis has got, got added some more weapons on the offense. Anthony Richardson was obviously hurt all last year. Like they will have some hype going into the football season. So my plan is everything I get back from Anthony Richardson, Will Levis. I bought some Kyler Murray. You guys have seen some of my um, PSA submissions come back. I got a ton of Jordan Love, which again, I, I was buying that three months ago. Uh, Jalen Hurts, a little bit of Trevor Lawrence. I, I actually had a lot of Trevor Lawrence, but I'm having trouble not getting very good grades uh, with some of his stuff. So again, thinking one step ahead, not thinking about CJ Stroud, thinking about guys that are going to, come up and have some buzz that you could actually make some strong money on. So those are my football examples. Let's go into baseball. Okay. So the season started. So it's really not a great time to buy baseball anyways. The best time is uh, about a month after the World Series is finished. Like November, December is the best time. But I'll give you some examples and you might still be able to get these guys. In fact, one of them I know you can. You could still get some of these guys 
pretty cheap. So the first example, and these are minor leaguers. Well, let's go to my best example so far that's worked out so far. This is kind of a homer one. I'm a diehard Cubs fans, as you guys know. But I bought about eight, you know, uh, Topps Chrome, Bowman, whatever type of autographs for Christopher Morrell. He had over, you know, 20 home runs. He only played like uh, half to maybe close to two thirds of the season last year. He was really, really clutch. He's real fun, exciting, hustle guy, fan favorite. Plus, he's a Cub, so if it didn't go right, you know, it didn't go my way, it didn't matter because I like his stuff. I bought a bunch of his stuff, and he's off to a absolute hot start. Uh, I sold one of my autographs already in a PSA 10, and it made up for all the cards I bought pretty much. Sold for like just under 200, and that's about what I spent on them. Um, so that was a good one for me for guys that are currently playing. So I don't know. I, I have about three of three or four more autographs left. I probably will sell one more and then just keep the rest for PC because I'm a fan of his. But baseball, here's my lock. This one is my lock. In my opinion, which I'm not giving advice, guys, it could 100% go wrong. But this is the guy I feel most confident about. Luis Angel Acuna. I'm sure many of you, to most of you, heard of him or know him. Uh, he's not on Texas anymore. He's a top 50 prospect, but he uh, got traded to the New York Mets. And you could... You, you guys know his last name because his brother, his older brother, is quite the amazing baseball player, Ronald Acuna. So this is why I think he's a lock. He's a top 50 prospect already, and he's way below 50, I think. I think he's maybe even top 25. Um, he's faster than Ronald. Doesn't have as much power, but still has, you know, still has power. He still can get, you know, a right around 15 to 20 home runs a year, which isn't so bad. But And he's got the last name. Just think about it. When this guy gets called up, which is probably a year away, he did okay in spring training this year, but he's just a little bit, little bit young. When he get, when he gets called up, who knows how he'll do in the major leagues? I'm not saying he's going to be some star like his brother, but when he gets called up, ESPN, everyone's going to be talking about Ronald Acuna's little brother made the major leagues. There is going to be so much hype that his cards are going to go nuts in my opinion so i'm trying to buy up his stuff is not cheap guys but i'm trying to buy up refractors and all kinds of fun stuff some of his you know like his his bowman first like this one are, are pretty expensive but you can get some like bowman sterlings and bowman best autographs and all that kind of stuff kind of on the cheap look for some things and just grading them up and i'm just you gotta have patience i it might be a year it might be two years who knows but just waiting for that moment where he gets that call up and all that buzz happens. And, you know, 80, 90% of it I'm going to sell and do really, really well. But his last name, I, I just think it's a lock. And this one is a little bit more of a gamble. And I actually think I have, besides Junior Caminero, Caminero I probably have more cards of this player than any any prospect in my collection because this stuff is so inexpensive um and i actually like i have more autographs so caminero i have more like mega box mojos i only have like one or two autographs this guy I have like geez i might have 12 to 15 autographs of him and this card that i'm about to show you isn't like the most valuable i just love the patch and it was my first card i bought of this guy i think it's just a really cool looking card and that's blaze jordan so blaze jordan was probably the, I don't know if the word is famous, but I'll say it, the most famous Little League player um, like ever, in my opinion. This kid had crazy home runs during the Little League World Series. Then he hit bombs in college. He was doing a home run contest. Like an absolute ton of hype behind him. Isn't that patch sick, guys? Uh, he was drafted by the Boston Red Sox. He's in double A right now. Had an absolutely amazing year last year. And most, like, he loves the card industry. Loves it. Very involved in cards. Um, and just has a background with tons of hype, tons of power. And I just think his moment is coming pretty soon. 
I think he's 21 now. Last year he had like like 27 home runs, pretty solid batting average. Um, and I think just because of his personality, loving the sp sports cards, being on the Boston Red Sox, and having the history that he has, I think this cat's going to have a ton of buzz in a year or two when he comes out. So it's more of a gamble than, than Acuna for sure. But I really like this one. And he's just a good dude. Like, had some depression issues that he kind of, you know, talked about and thought he was pretty cool and, you know, tried to be a mentor and all that kind of stuff. So just a good dude. Great team, Boston Red Sox. Tons of power. So Blaze Jordan's kind of a another one that I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about. And then... You know, I love basketball, and the playoffs are coming. I do love basketball, but I, it, it is, for whatever reason, my least favorite sport to, like, collect, you know, get into. Uh, it's been kind of goofy, but, you know, obviously besides Wimben Yama, it's been kind of kind of, goofy and pretty down this year until uh, until his hype build up. But I'll say, though, I'll, I'll tell you the one guy, and I haven't bought any of his cards yet. I'm looking now, so... You guys can battle with me and uh, and start trying to win auctions of this guy, of this player. And he was actually my favorite player in a long time going on it, coming out of a draft. He's exciting and he's obviously an amazing player. But man, I cannot stand what he does in the offseason. I can't stand his tactics, things that he's been involved with lately. So uh not really a fan of this guy anymore. I do have a couple of his cards that were were my personal collection, which are no longer. I will sell them as soon as his hype hype comes out comes back. But the fact is, he had a lot of trouble, and then when he came back earlier this year and played, he played amazing, and his cards went right right back up. No one remembered it, and then he got hurt again, and they went right back down. So the start of next season, I think this guy's cards are gonna go right back up, and that's John Morant. I, I think John Morant is a really good buy right now, especially after this. Well, I mean, you know, between now and even the off season, you know, people aren't going to be thinking about him. But then it will be quick, you know. With with at, at some point when people start thinking about basketball, he's going to be the first person that pops in their mind, is because he hadn't played in a long time. You know, another guy that I, I have a few cards coming uh, that you guys will laugh about. I definitely don't believe in this guy. But Bronny James and his hype is starting to build up now because he's talking about entering the draft and all that kind of stuff and rumors of him playing with his dad. But I was I knew eventually it's Bronny James. He's got the name. Eventually, he is going to probably be on an NBA roster. And his when that happens, guys, because his dad's LeBron, his cards are gonna go nuts. So it's not a bad idea to have some of his stuff slabbed up. Like I said, he's got some hype right now because of the to talk about him entering the draft with somebody you know in a month or two you might want to start grabbing some of his bowman chrome cards so that's it guys that's my video uh basically the message is you know when when everyone's you know on a couple of hot players try to think a little bit ahead right so i'll tell you another basketball player real quick just it popped in my head and i haven't bought any of his cards yet but trey young and you're like, why Trey Young? There is all kinds of rumors that he is going to get traded. And the team that likes him the most is the Lakers. Can you imagine during the offseason if Trey Young is traded to the Lakers? The amount of hype and how his cards will go. So they're already so down right now that even if he doesn't go to the Lakers, you're not really going to lose money because they're already down. So long as he just plays okay next year, you should at least break even or make a little bit. I think he's going to get traded somewhere. Trey Young is another good basketball player. I forgot to mention that one. So anyway, guys, you know, have fun. Open, you know, open products. And if you hit a Wimbenyama, that's awesome. Uh, grade it up and do what you want to do with it. But regarding like buying singles or buying graded cards, um, try to think one step ahead of everybody else, right? Don't do what everyone's doing now. Think about what could potentially happen down the road. So I gave you the players. You guys let me know. Will Levis and Anthony Richardson, you think, you know, they're already up. You think those cards are going to go up even more before the season starts? You know, do you like my gambles and Luis Angel Acuna and Blaze Jordan, right? You like that move right there with selling Drake May and Bo Nix? What do you think about John Morant and Trey Young? Uh, 
you know, maybe during the off season, picking up some of their cards. Will they, will they be uh, up before the season starts basketball next year? That's it guys, please. This is not just for all of my subscribers. This is for me. Okay. Please leave in the, leave a comment. Who is your guy or guys or gals, right? Could be Caitlin Clark or some of the other girls going into the WNBA. Who do you, who do you think is one step ahead of everybody else? Who is your guy or gal that, or a couple of them that nobody's really thinking about that this is a great time to buy their cards and then just hold them for a little while until the hype comes up. I would love to hear from you guys. I think we all do. Let's, this is an awesome community. It's an awesome channel. Let's share our thoughts, guys. So, again, sorry for the long chit-chat today, but I just thought it'd be fun to share those ideas. Maybe you guys think I'm completely cuckoo, and I would totally understand if you are, but... And I guarantee you some of these guys that I just talked about, they're not all going to hit. But I would bet you that most most of these guys hit. You know, ho hopefully for me they do, because I'm putting some and money into them. So, that's it for today, guys. Again, please subscribe thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know who you guys are thinking are the next hyped player coming up. Have an absolute great day. Have a great week. I appreciate you all. And we'll catch you on a video tomorrow, guys. Peace.